welcome to this another chalk talk from India IT Solutions Limited. I am Limesh Parekh and welcome to this chalk talk once again. Today we are going to talk about how a terminal server works, that is typically how a thin client environment is supposed to work. Now there are various types of thin clients available in market. Uh, we are going to talk typically about and how an RDP server works or how RDP protocol works. So here we have a terminal server which can be Windows 2003 or 2008 with terminal services enabled or it can be any Linux server, we are talking about a typing server also. So what happens here is, once this thing, these are all thin clients, these thin clients are connected to server, the keyboard keystrokes and mouse movements from here are sent to the terminal server and the terminal server will create the image and send it back to here. So this typical technology gives we, uh, some very good advantages also and of course it has some limitations also. So let's talk about what is the advantage. First advantage is that since we are working this way, all the computation is going to happen here. Here nothing is happening. Only how to display these things from here to here that is only happening. So typically what happens is that whenever you type say for example alphabet A on the keyboard, that keystroke is sent here and this terminal server will create that image or refresh the image and send that here. Now the advantage is that this requires only 150 kbps of bandwidth. Now this is bandwidth not the speed. There is a difference. You can watch another video from uh, Chalk Talk. What is the difference between bandwidth and speed? So only 150 kbps is required for one thin client to work. That is an average, it can be much below that also. A typically office environment will require say around 30 to 40 kbps only. Here we are talking of browsing. When you browse a website which can be a rich HTML website, it will require 150 kbps. So the biggest advantage is that you require only 150 kbps as the bandwidth. Another big advantage is you can have very low computing devices attached here and all the computing is happening here. So if you have a very good server here, you get very good speed on all the thin clients. Now that gives one more advantage that you have to take care of only this server. You don't have to take care of this thin clients. You don't need to upgrade these thin clients. You can only upgrade here. You need a very powerful server and thin clients will work according to that speed. So that is another advantage that you get speed of the server, not of the clients. The session is being run here, not here. So another advantage that terminal services gives us is that if your session is disconnected from here, see there is a breakage in network, your session is still running here live. So whenever the connection is reconnected, your session is still live. That's another big advantage. Now that the, it also has some disadvantages. Now the disadvantages is many times we have observed that we are not able to use movies on this thin client machines. Now why that happens? As we already discussed, the images are created on the server and then they are sent here. Now this task of creating images is handled by the CPU of server and not the GPU. And when you are running Word or Excel or any other office applications, you are not changing the screen that fast. But when you run a movie, that screen is supposed to change fast. The entire screen changes very fast, maybe at a 30 frames per second or like that. So the server has to create 30 frames per second and if you multiply that by the high end resolution that our monitors give this time, in current times, that's a huge task for the server and mind well that is handled by the CPU and not by the GPU of the server. Now CPU is not typically designed to handle all this huge activity of image computing. So that is the reason we don't get very good movies displayed on this. Of course, there are other technologies which can give you a good high resolution movie also which can be displayed on here, but those are typically not viable for creating a huge network. The advantage of RTP protocol is that you can have one powerful server and you can connect as many thin clients as you want. The only limitation factor will be the hardware resources provided by this server. So when we understand this technology properly, we will come to know about how to do capacity planning of the server or how to decide when there is a performance lag here. Suppose this flow says that my thin client is running slow 
and all these people say no, our thin clients are running proper. That means there is not a problem in your server. The problem is in the network connectivity of this thin client. That is the most probable reason. And most probably, the maximum amounts of support cases that arise in thin clients is about the connectivity and not about the thin client itself. Thank you for watching this.